Hello and welcome back to Yoga Ganda. Today I will take you through a few simple stretches that you can do as you wake up in the morning if you want to stretch out. So let's get ready on your mat. We start in a simple seated position. You could sit onto a block to raise your hips up. So if that's comfortable for you, sit on a block, otherwise sit on the floor. If this position with the legs crossed is okay, legs crossed. Otherwise, maybe soles of the feet together and knees out wide if, you, if this works better for your knees. Okay, so make sure your position is comfortable. And then from here, we start with a few simple stretches and opening for the upper body. So relax the arms down, take a breath in and exhale. On your next inhale, sweep the arms out to the sides and up to the sky, look up at the hand. Exhale, release the hands to the heart center in prayer. We do this with the breath. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, through the nose. Exhale, out of the nose. Two. One. Interlace the fingers and the palms forwards, round your back. Belly button to the spine, hands stretch far and away from you. Tuck the chin in towards the chest. Breathe in for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, reach the arms up. Maintain the interlace of the fingers, stretch the palms up to the sky. Lengthen the crown of the head up, breathe in, two, three, four, and five, release. Now interlace the fingers behind your back, move the hands away from the lower back, open the chest, look at the tip of your nose and breathe in, five. Try to maintain some control through the center of your abdomen, the rib cage drawing in, one side towards the other. And the opening here is into the upper part of your chest, into the collarbones, the shoulders, for three, for two, one, and release. Roll the shoulders in one direction, roll them the other way. And then from here, bring yourself forwards onto your hands, onto your knees, and sit back onto your heels. Okay. Good. Now take the hands in prayer at the heart center, press the hands into each other, palms of the hands pressing in, and then slide the hands down towards your thighs. Maintain the chest open. Should start to feel a stretch into the wrists here as you lower the hands down. But keep pressing the hands into each other, palms in contact. Breathe in five. Four. Three, two, and one. Reach the arms up, make fists with the hands, and release. And we'll do this for about 30 seconds, keep going, make fists, and release. Good. This will start to warm up the wrists, warm up and strengthen the muscles of your forearms, so that when we start now to take the hands down onto the floor, the wrists are a little more ready to take the work. So keep going for the last five, four, three, two, one, and release. Shake your wrists out, and now take the hands down to the floor, spread the fingers out wide. Make sure you press down the index finger, the thumb, actively grounding them into the floor. Inhale, arch your back, soften the abdomen, look up. Exhale, round the spine, lift the abdomen in and up. Inhale, soft bend. Open chest, gaze up. Exhale, actively draw the belly button in and up. For three. Two. One. Returning to a neutral spine position. 
Sit back into child's pose, extend the arms forwards. Find your way back up onto your hands, onto your knees. And then from here, it'll send your left arm out to the side. The hand is just in line with the shoulder. We circle the right, we'll circle the wrist in one direction and then into the opposite. We maintain a strong abdomen, the belly button drawing in. And then thread that arm through and underneath the other one. The shoulder comes to the floor, the side of the face comes to the floor, and then the opposite arm up to the sky. Take that opposite hand back towards the hip and roll the shoulder open, breathe in five, four, three, two, and one. Top arm up to the sky, press it into the floor to lift yourself up and then repeat on the second side, arm out to side. Circle at the wrist in one direction and the other way. Thread the arm through, shoulder to the floor, head to the floor, opposite arm to sky, opposite hand, opposite hip. Breathe in four, three, two, and one. Top arm up, inhale, press it to the floor, hands and knees. Okay, good, nice. Now, from your hands and knees, we tap the toes under, we inhale to open the chest, look up. Exhale to round the spine. And now maintain the spine rounded, the toes tapped, sit back onto your heels to stretch the bottom of the feet. So sit back towards the heels as far as the hips can go, keep the spine rounding, the chin to the chest, and then with the hands press into the floor actively, the arms are straight, fingertips pressing down, knuckles pressing down. Return back to center. Inhale, open chest. Exhale, press the feet down, the hands down, downward facing dog. And begin to walk on the spot, bend one knee. Straighten that leg, bend the other knee. And then continue pedaling a few times, from side to side. Really moving all the way through the feet, the toes, to bring some more space into the bottom of the feet, some more mobility into the toes and also lengthening the back of the legs. Make sure you're still grounding actively through the hands, spreading fingers, grounding the base of each and every finger. And then settle into downward facing dog. Try having the knees bent first, stretch through the back, press the hands into the floor, lift the tail, and then maybe begin to now straighten the legs the heels might be touching or not, doesn't matter. Wherever you are is good. Just make sure there is no discomfort into the lower back. And if you prefer to work with a bent knee downward facing dog, that might work better right now. Then stay here. We hold it for three. Two. For one. Bend the knees, look forwards, bring the feet to the front of the mat. Lift halfway up, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Press the feet down to come up, inhale, arms to sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, press the feet down, reach the arms up. Forward fold, belly button in, knees soft. Halfway lift, inhale, we look forward. 
exhale, forward fold. Press the feet down to come up, inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. One more, inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Press the feet down to lift, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, Tadasana, hands to heart center. We do two more rounds, this time full sun salutation. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Forward fold, exhale, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Long spine, long waist. Hands to the floor, two long steps back for plank. A breath in for plank, pressing the floor away, engaging your center. Inhale here. Exhale, drop the knees. Bend the elbows slowly to the floor. Inhale for baby cobra, lift the head, lift the chest and lift the hands. So start to now work a little deeper into the back body. Breathe in fully. Exhale fully. Inhale here. Exhale, release. Press the hands down, this time lifting to cobra pose. Shoulders down, chest open. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Five long breaths here or child's pose. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. Three. Two. One. Bend the knees, bring the feet to the front of the mat. Either little steps or a couple of big steps. Halfway up, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, Tadasana. One more round. Inhale, reach the arms. Forward fold, exhale. Let the heart look forwards. Exhale, hands down, plank. You can always modify plank, bringing the knees down first if you need to, but press the floor away with the hands, lift your abdomen. On the exhale, slowly down. This time, keep the head down, the hands down. Breathe in. Breathe out, lift the feet, the thighs off the mat, point the toes back. Lift the head, lift the chest, hands, and reach back. Fingers reaching towards the toes, palms facing in. Locust, locust pose, Shalabhasana. We breathe in two. One. Release to the floor. Press the hands underneath the shoulders. Lift. Cobra pose, Bhujangasana. And exhale, head down. Hands down. Downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Shvanasana. Look forwards, bend the knees. This time, drop the knees all the way to the floor. Sit back, child's pose. And then lift into a seated position. Coming down into your seated position here, take a simple twist. Reach the right arm up, inhale. Exhale, right hand to right, right hand to left knee. Rotate, other hand is behind you for support. Try to maintain the spine really nice and tall and rotate on the exhale. So as you breathe in, think of lengthening the spine up. As you breathe out, find that rotation for two, for one, 
back to center. Take a breath in here. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale to the opposite knee. Back to center. Take a breath in at the center. A breath out. Join the palms together in prayer at the heart center. Let the eyes close. A few slow, easy breaths. can stay longer in this seated position, simply observing the natural rhythm of your breathing, finding a moment of quiet before your day starts, or if you prefer, come and lay down into Shavasana, and you might want to stay longer than this video, if you have the time, stay five minutes, or even longer if you have the time. Otherwise, one more breath in into a seated position. One more breath out. And on next inhale, we stretch the prayer up to the sky. And on the exhale, we bow the prayer down to the earth. Namaste.